Okay, so we're going to start beating on him. We are going to cast Citadel. We are going to punch him with these two to get their debuffs up. Fuck. This is the exact same thing that happened last time! Come on, people! You have to hit him! Oh god. There we go. So his ints dropped. That's one thing off my plate. Um, we're gonna recast Citadel, I think. And I shouldn't have attacked him with her. I should have used. Okay, so Annihilation went out. Didn't do shit. So. We're going to cast Sentinel, and Human Shield with him, Hamstring. He just used Genius. Um, that's suboptimal, because that mostly, but not quite, negates the debuff that I put on him. We're going to have Rashkar defend. And we're going to use an Ultra Scan. So, he just missed with a Crush. We get the Ultra Scan out. The Ultra sc Scan should help us survive any of his attacks. I'm actually going to cast Regen. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to cast Bubble, because Bubble is a much better spell to cast. And... I'm going to have him attack. I'm going to have her use Metascan. Destroy armor on Ash. But the destroy armor ability, when he used it, only did one damage. So that's promising, at least. Let's get some more debuffage into him. He's using Devil's Breath, which is good because that's a complete waste of a turn for an endgame party. Let me just attack. Get the hamstring out. Hellfire goes out. Ain't no thing. Even with Genius active, he's still like substantially weaker. So, let's see. Um, we just got Human Shield out. Implosion goes out. Hits Ashcore for 350 damage. And we are going to go ahead and do what? We're going to have her guard. No, we're not. We're going to cast Citadel. Because it's been a while. Have him attack. Hasn't been a while, but... Um, there's not much reason to destroy armor, because the actual damage increase is going to be marginal at best. Um, it's a waste of mana that can be better used to um, increase Ashcore's defense to a point where the boss can't actually hurt him. Um, so, oh my god, I just hit him for over 10,000 damage! Nice! Um, so anyway, for, for my purposes, I think that I'm better off not bothering uh, to use Destroy Armor, just because of the fact that um, it's not going to have a really huge impact on anything. Oh, she just got stunned. So apparently, despite what I just said, I did not have a thing on for her. On the plus side, she did just shoot him recently. Megaton explosions coming out.
I hope that I've hit him recently with her. Okay. So this is going to give us a chance to get Muddling Blowback on him, regardless of whether it was already on or not. And... I don't know why I'm attacking again, because I'm going to be letting... Oh my god! That vampirism just hit Ark for 440 damage. He regens, like, faster than he's hurting. Um, let's see. Let's get a hamstring up, because we let hamstring fall like noobs. That does mean that his physical attacks are a bit scarier for right now. On the plus side, he's missing a lot. I don't know why he's missing our Ashcore so much. Ashcore does not have a lot of evasion. Ashcore has a huge amount of defense. Not a huge amount of evasion. A decent amount of evasion. Not huge by any stretch of the imagination. Let's see. I think this guy is actually easier than Kali, um, in the sense that I think that his stat bonuses over Kali are not high enough uh, to make up for the amount of, um, whatchamacallit, the amount of power that you get from killing Kali. Like, you kill Kali, and then, like, you're a frickin' god. So... Because, like, even Ark isn't going down here at all. Like, may maybe he did in one of the first couple of rounds, but I don't even know if he did in the very beginning of the fight. It would be reasonably simple to have him not die. Like, it would... Not simple in terms of... It would be RNG-based. But it would be entirely feasible for me to go through this entire fight, fight with him not downing it. Arc once, and that's not feasible with Kali, or it wasn't feasible with Kali. It would be with his with his uh, Arc's current stats. He's a hamstring before this goes off. I wouldn't want to get yelled at for missing hamstring again. Okay, let's not have her attack, because that would be silly. Um, we're going to use Citadel. Shit! I should have used Citadel several turns ago. And because I didn't... <laughs> I'm probably going to fall behind on hamstring again. On the plus side, he just used Grim Reaper, which actually could have... Wait, what? Did they just take damage? What debuff do they have? They have a... Oh, burn! Okay, so... They actually are losing HP every round to that. That's an issue. Uh, recast Sentinel. I'm actually going to recast Citadel as well. 
just to get it on Nisali. Fuck. Okay, so... He does have attacks that will kill Ark. Oh god! That was a lot of damage! Oh god. Okay, so... I take back what I just said about him being easier than Kali. Because his ability to um, put that permanent fire degeneration on. Okay, well, I, I take it back again. He was easier than Kali. <laughs> he was easier than Kali. It only took...